puppy the bags are. I not even thought about that. Next with a view. Hey, I'm Hannah and I'm Jeremy and we are the Savory Suitcase and we finally made it to Colorado. Yeah, another state off the list. Yep, we're going to check it off our list. I think this is 20 or 21. I have no clue. Yeah, I counted the other day. Did you? So yeah, I think it's 20. I, it's been so long since we've traveled. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, definitely out of state. So this is our first airplane trip yeah. since, you know, the before times. Since the before. <laughs> uh, and we basically got out of the airport, picked up our rental car, and we, we have made it to our first destination. So we are at a little place called the Paint Mines Interpretive Park. Um, so you're going to show you some pretty cool, some pretty cool naturally colored uh, rock formations, and we'll tell you a little bit about them. Um, but for now, we got a little bit of walking to do, yep. so we're going to do that. We're going to head down there. We're going to hope that we don't get too out of breath because That's not too bad. this is a little bit higher of an altitude than we're used to. Yes, so totally different. A lot drier. We're going to yeah. drink a lot of water. It's like 86 degrees, but like it's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> this is delightful. There's a nice breeze. There's a lot of uh, wind. And wind mills. Wind mills, yeah. So let's go. <gasps> The Paint Mines Interpretive Park is located about an hour east of Colorado Springs, although you feel more like you're in the badlands of South Dakota. The paint mines are named for their colorful clays that were collected by the American Indians to make paints. Brightly colored bands caused by oxidized iron compounds are found in varying amounts throughout the many different layers of clay. There are three different options of parkings to view and hike down into the mines. One of the areas is an overlook which gives you an incredible view of the whole area from less than 100 yards from the parking lot.
finished up our hike at the uh, Paint Mines Interpretive Park, and as you can tell, we... Unreal, man. It was so cool. Yeah, we kind of exhausted ourselves, so <laughs> we went and checked into our hotel. Yeah, a little bit of that nap hair yeah. going, y'all. <laughs> a little nap hair. So the hotel itself is actually really cool. It is uh, the Antlers Hotel, which is a uh, Wyndham property. It's now managed by by Wyndham, yeah. It's an old 1887. 1882, or... I think. 1882, it was um, opened, yeah. So it actually has a lot of really rich history. Um, mm -hmm. The hotel itself is actually, seems, I don't know, kind of a little dated to me, but uh, it, it actually was a pretty good deal. And the, uh, the view that it has from the window is phenomenal. Of Pikes Peak. Yeah. yeah, we can see Pikes Peak, which yeah. we're going to go to tomorrow. So make sure that you check out that video. But for a hotel that was built in the 1800s, you know, I feel like it's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's really cool. You know, it's 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 old, it's nostalgic, but it's, you know, it's it's updated and it's excuse you. <laughs> you know, but it's it's updated and it's it's yeah, it's it's comfortable. It's yeah. it's got all the amenities you it's would got look air for. Conditioning, so. Spa, restaurants, you know, it's it's a four star hotel. And, and they have like a little Lego uh model replica in the front of, it. Yeah. of what it used to look like. Camera noise. <laughs> Put those pictures in there. Yeah. So we napped a little bit and now we are at our second destination for the evening. Yeah, so we you know, yeah, we we had a nice chance to kind of relax for a little bit, get our you know, room settled and our stuff unpacked. We brought a lot of stuff. We did bring for four days, five days, four nights. It seems a little excessive, but you know, whatever. I like to have options. Um, so I'm, so I think I'm still in a little bit of awe because what we're looking at, what you can't see, we're going to turn you around here in just a second, but, um, it's, <laughs> it's unbelievable. We just turned the corner and Hannah gasped and I slammed on the brakes because <laughs> I thought I was going to hit something, but okay so i mean we should just show you i yeah. mean it's really cool look unbelievable i mean it's crazy like how big to scale it is so we're at garden of the gods national monument um this is one of the parts of it this was the first one we stopped at the first section of it there's multiple sections around in the park this is massive um, it's really hard to tell like to scale, but you can see the cars in the parking lot and just the sheer The sheer scale of it. I mean, we're probably 100 yards away from it from the base of it at least but man, it is just Unbelievable red clay color. Yeah, these are huge rock formations that have been here for a really natural long time. naturally formed and yeah. the um garden itself is actually free admission so from what mm -hmm. i understand is is that it the land or property was actually donated to i believe the city of colorado springs mm -hmm. and part of the um deal was is that the the garden had to always be called the garden of the gods because that's what they called it and rightfully so and they said it always had to be free there was no entry fee and I mean, truthfully, that's that's incredible because places like this, like even national parks, you have to pay an admission fee unless you have an America the Beautiful pass. And I think that's amazing. Like this is totally accessible to anybody who wants to just come and visit. So we're gonna show you around a little bit. And I think if you're ever in the area, you gotta put this on your list. It's It's amazing. So there are quite a few different pull-offs and parking lots where you can actually see some different uh, incredible yeah amazing views uh, we just saw a bride who had pulled up to take i assume some wedding photos which obviously why would you not do I mean, that how could you not 
So, if this was your backdrop. Even if you had some mobility issues, I could see, you know, just coming There's in. There's handicap and, dedicated lots yeah. that make it accessible for you to get in different areas that are... Yeah, I mean, and even just the pullout spots, they have really incredible views. So, like we said, you know, no admission fee. That makes this totally accessible. And, you know, they've tried to make it so that even just the pullout spots, you can see the incredible views. So yeah. The one thing I will say, the one thing that kind of took me a little bit by surprise when I pulled in, and I did get a little frustrated at first, I think it was, you know, it was just setting my expectations was that like the way we kind of, I guess the way we thought it was going to go versus how it actually went was, um, you know, kind of more like scenic driving throughout and then yeah. stopping in the parking lots throughout. Um, because it does say it's 20 miles an hour throughout. It's not, apparently. Yeah, it's driving really it's fast. like the Indy 500 around the perimeter, and you have to get, like, in, at least this was our experience. I don't know if that's normally the case, um, but we had to kind of duck in and out um, of, like, the main flow. Yeah, people um, were, like, pretty honking quickly. at us because we were, like, trying to, like, go and look I was and going the speed limit. And... Yeah, I don't know what happened. I, I mean, don't... and it's, it's like, sunset time, so maybe people are, like, yeah, trying to get in maybe. and see it before the sun sets, so... But yeah, don't it's expect beautiful. that you're gonna have like a nice leisurely drive. Yeah, and... you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to take your time unless you're parked in the lot and you're walking through like the main area where the where the kissing camels and like all that kind of the white rock and stuff is. If you're walking around, obviously, you know, no one's gonna rush you. But yeah. driving through the main flow of the one way loop, yeah, don't take your time. Yeah, my parents said that when they came, they actually drove through a couple of yeah, times. You just keep so, driving the yeah. loop and look as much as you want. Yeah. And don't come at seven o'clock at night after you've climbed another mountain <laughs> and you're sunburnt. Yeah. Who comes from Florida to Colorado and gets a sunburn? We do. So. All right, off we go. Yeah, we're going to go find some dinner. Our pit crew is yelling at us. We got to get back into the Indy 500. Off we go. <laughs> we have seen a couple of deer. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. One they with were, like a lot of We're just horns. munching. Back to the beginning, so now we're gonna go find dinner. Someone didn't kill me, pushed me over a cliff. Well, she threatened it a couple of times. <laughs> I did, just a few. There's a clip somewhere that she's probably <laughs> conveniently not gonna put into this final cut of her it was punching long... me and going ha and pushing me. It was a long travel day. I've been nothing but an angel. Yes, you have. We all know that's not true. I got hangry at one point. He took a little nappy nap for an extra half hour. <laughs> I did. And he was like, can we go see God tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to visit his garden until I was ready. So make sure you tune in. We have more videos from Colorado coming. We're going to go see Pikes Peak tomorrow. We're trying to cram as much stuff as into the next couple of days. We're only here for four five nights. days and four nights. So trying to get a lot in, trying to get all the big stuff, you know, yeah. so hang with us you know check it out we're gonna hopefully turn this into two or three different videos yeah. so maybe four maybe four <gasps> like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time yeah bye y'all bye hello he started vlogging without me go find jeremy's channel it's lonely man vlogs by himself Get over here! <laughs> no.